I'm Robin Bell. Um, I am a research scientist at Columbia University's Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory, where I study ice sheets and ice sheet stability. My role in the Joint Committee is I'm a member. I was the vice chair of the planning committee that predated the Joint Committee, and I worked with Chris Rapley and Ian to actually work on the, the framework document and the science. My role in IPY at this point is I've just gotten funded to launch my major expedition into the interior of East Antarctica, one that we wouldn't have been able to do without the IPY umbrella. It'll involve the Chinese, the Germans, the British, the Australians, the Japanese, the Italians, and the Russians. It'll be going to explore an unknown mountain range beneath the ice sheet. The International Polar Year is an idea that came out of people who went on expeditions and came back and got nothing out of them. People who went back and came back without their ships or without the people they went with. And it became really clear to understand the planet we had to work together as nations and that individuals and individual nations couldn't really understand the planet. So that's, that's where the concept of an International Polar Year came from. So around 2000, 2001, we began to talk about the concept of an international polar year and whether or not it even worked in the year 2001 or 2002. And then we began to realize how rapidly our planet was changing. Um, the Larsen ice shelf broke up sort of, you know, between when my kid had to go to the doctor and when I had an important deadline. It, suddenly our planet was changing on human time scales as opposed to carbon-14 time scales. And that became a tremendous motivation. And, but at the same time, there are still places we don't know on our planet. So there are sort of two motivations. One is that the planet's changing. And the other motivation is that there are places that we know nothing about on our planet, places that are actually very important to our society. It turns out the underneath of the ice sheet, whether it's the mountains or the subglacial lakes that I've worked on before, and we'll work on as part of the International Polar Year, are really important for what makes the ice in the polar regions come and what makes the ice in the polar regions go. And the disappearance of the ice is one of the things that will impact us all.